Well, here we are with Lottie Harris. She's one of the first students at uh, Fairhaven School. Actually, it wasn't called Fairhaven back then, was it? What was it, what was it called it's back called then? It was called Flint Number Two. Flint Number Two, okay. Started out in, in first grade and went on all the way through to sixth grade, yeah, um, and all of her family went walking quite a ways <laughs> every morning, it seems like. Miles. Yeah. But we're going to let her tell you her story. And uh, she had packed a lunch and had canned peaches and, and all kind of good things, you know, in there. And we got under the viaduct and they were supposed, the older ones that were supposed to take turns carrying it. It was Sylvester's turn to take care. And Sylvester reneged down. <laughs> set the lunch down under the viaduct mm. and left it there. Oh boy. Somebody had a good lunch because people weren't afraid in those days to... Yeah. Uh, they had home canned peaches and oh, wow. sandwiches, all kind of good stuff. And you guys went without that day, huh? That day. Uh, and uh, Vera says she remembers Sylvester crying and the teacher told him don't said, just shut up, don't cry, because you should have picked it up. And Ruby regrets the fact that she, since I was the youngest, she should have taken my part out and <laughs> yeah. her part out. Yeah. And that, so we went to a lunch that day. Somebody, I remember somebody giving me a bean sandwich. Wow. I remember Parkland School was on the corner of North Street. Okay. They used to walk through our yard okay. and, and, and bully us. Uh -huh. Public school. Okay. So this teacher, Miss Ford, decided that she was gonna stop the bullying. So we had big snows in those days. And she had us make a, a fort like and those kids from Parkland came to and we were and she had us ready for and they what do you call it? Like snowballs? Bombarded, okay. <laughs> bombarded those those parkland those fort. They made fun of us, you know. Yeah. The little school, you know, little, little church school. And they bombarded they never bothered us again. <laughs> You threw snow at them? Yeah, she, <laughs> she, we were, they were ready for it. We were yeah. ready for it. <laughs> That's yeah. one thing. Yeah. Okay, so, so this yeah. is a speech that you did? This is a speech that I did when I was six years old. Oh, okay. I, I remember part of it. I was reciting it. Oh, okay. Great, wide, beautiful, wonderful world with the wonderful waters around you curl. The wonderful air is over me, the wonderful wind is shaking the tree. It walks on the waters and whirls the wheels and talks to itself on top of the hill. Ah, oh, you are so great and I'm so small. I tremble to think of you, world, at all. And yet, when I said my prayer today, a whisper within me seemed to say, You are more than the word, earth. You are such a dot. You can love and think, and the world cannot. So it's okay. And and you stayed in the school from kindergarten all the way through to all the way through the through the eighth grade. Eighth grade. grade. Wow. Mm -hmm. So what would you say that experience was like? How would you describe that whole experience? Oh, I am. Uh, did you enjoy it? I yes, I did. I did. We. Uh, I especially, I guess when, when, when I'm think, I think about when I was small uh, in the kindergarten or the first few grades, it was really interesting us. They, they, we, they, we, we walked in a schoolroom, there was a big, a long sandbox. And a sandbox maybe for somebody in this age don't know what sandbox is, but it, it was a box you could uh, like a table, but it was an indent, indent. 
and then a lot of sand in there, and there were we had chairs around there, and uh, the teacher would could, uh, t tell stories about let's say uh, Lot's wife. Remember the uh, reverse. Remember Lot's wife. Mm -hmm. We always remember. We were told that that was one of our main memory verses. The Lord had told them to get out of the city, but they didn't want to. And so finally, when some of some of Lot and his wife had went, and some of the children, older children, and uh, you could, the teacher had uh, somehow another had a little on one end of the sandbox was a little city set up, and and uh, I guess. Wow. Now that I think of it, it was probably it was it was a it was paper it was made out of little things were made out of paper, and then, then the little hill uh, you can walk up they see Lot in heaven, then them walking up the hill. I don't know where now. I think it was probably stick people or something like that, <laughs> and, and uh, they walk up they walked had them walk up the hill, and then all of a sudden, and I don't know how the teacher did this. And now that I think of it again, probably had probably had a a, a, a match or something, or a cigarette lighter, and but we didn't know it. And all of a sudden, uh, Lot's wife was didn't want to go. You know, she didn't want to go out. And didn't want to leave her leave her children and whatnot. And uh, she she looked back, and the city was burning. And I, so I guess the teacher, without us, he was talking sore and, and told that we were so excited to remember this, to, uh, to hear the story. I, you know, and I, I want to say that uh, we didn't notice that he had, that, wow, well, whichever way, uh, he, he, he the started burning. And, he, and that little tent said he was burning and, uh, and then somehow or another, there was a little lady, uh, something resembling a lady, I guess. And she, well, and then she, we were so excited looking at the city burning. We looked up, and here was this little person, all white, was soft, soft, mm -hmm. you, know, like, you know. Wow. And it was, it was, it was interesting. Yeah. For a long time, I didn't understand how, <laughs> how that was done. Yeah. Pardon? Are you happy your parents sent you? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes, I, I, I learned a lot in church school, yeah. And we were always so good. Church school was like, like a family. And we were always so close. I was thinking, we were, church school was a family. It was a family. We were all family. We had picnics together. We ate together. We did everything. As a matter of fact, the, the teacher, uh, organized one time, we had hot lunches. Wow. Two ladies each day. And we were, we were talking not too long ago what we remember the hot lunches we had, you know. And it was just nice. Can you describe what this building looked like? Okay, we were on Gillespie, right behind the North Street Church. And it was a two-story building. The church had met downstairs under the school for a long time before we even built the North Street Church. And all of us school kids were a part of helping to build the church, really. And um, we um, had, we were upstairs over the original church. Uh, for a long time. Up until I was about seventh, well, sixth or seventh grade was when we went and helped Pastor Kurt and my Uncle Jimmy and Sylvester Jones and all of us helped build North Street Church. I remember after school got out up in that high ceiling with my feet holding the ceiling up while Sylvester Jones nailed it up there. Never looking down, he, he'd tell me, don't look down. <laughs> but we have built a North Street Church after school. It was enjoyable times. It was like one big family. 
everybody knew each other in all the grades. And it was really good. You don't probably remember how much it cost to go, do you, by any chance? I think it was $15 a month. Okay. And there was six of us, I guess, from my grandparents at the time, the twins, Bill, Francis, Daisy, and myself. Yeah, it was a group of us uh, from my grandmothers at that time. So I really believe in Christian education. And I've told them if they find a child that wants to go to church school, uh, maybe they don't. And I would sponsor a child at church school and con continually and will always contribute to the church school for Christian education. I really believe that Christian education can save a lot of these children that's just falling off by the wayside. I believe that it's a good thing, very good thing. My baby chickens. Baby chickens, oh, what? tell me about them. They're very cute and fluffy. We put them in an incubator and we put and we put a yellow thing around them. Then we take it out when it's the 21st. So right now we only got three because they couldn't, because some of them don't hatch that fast. But this one is hatching. My favorite one is these two. You guys give them names yet? No. Okay. What are you gonna do with them afterwards? We gonna we gonna put them in a um, large tube. I think it's a tube, but we gonna put them in a crate and like and like let them warm up and stuff. We went to um we went to the the homeless shelter for the men and the vet. No, and we made them socks in baskets. What was that? What was that experience like? It was fun. I liked it. Um, well, we read our Bibles at this school because in my regular school we don't read our Bibles every day like we do here. But this school is different. But it's okay. I like it. Still, I'll rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head, and lowered eyes? Shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries. Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard, cause I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. I'm a black ocean leaping and wide, welling and swelling I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise into a daybreak that's wondrously clear. I rise, bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the dream and the hope of the slave. I rise, I rise, I rise. Well, I played, uh, um, I forgot it's called, but you shake it and make sound in the song Kumbaya. And I got interviewed as Henry T. Thompson. Okay. So what would you say is the advantage of going to a school like this? Mm, you have more free time. And there's less more violence here. Like at school there's always fights, but here it's not a bunch of fights. Oh yeah, we sew in our skirts for the Black History Month program. And, and the headbands and stuff. So in here is the computer lab where the after school program uses the sewing stuff. So we usually use these tables for crafting and those are the sewing machines but we like move, we move the um, thing, the tables is the room around a couple of times. And yeah, so this area, we use iron the clothes and stuff. This area is like paper and painting and paper cutters like you could cut the shapes with paper. I used the green teal one, but I just used this one sometimes too. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do music. We have music class by Miss Washington, and we have little keyboards and our music folder, music folders. 
Okay. So, that we have to do these questions, and I'll show you that on Teams on my computer. The questions. And it says we have to read the chapter. And then it says online questions, see? Okay, so we're going to go back to my computer and see the questions. Because it downloaded. See, so the cabin face was 6 plus 7. So here's the seven number 7 questions right here. Right here. Okay. The Let's get the book that we are talking about. So here's the Cabin Face West book. Okay. Right here. Okay. And then you have to read chapter 7 and 6. And then you have to answer the questions online. Okay. It's a fun place to be. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's a fun place to be for me. For me. I mean, other people might not like it, but I like it. So, so, so this, is your, this is your library also, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's go over to your desk here. Or your room, I guess. My room? Okay. Um, what would you say is the benefit of going to a school like this? Um, there's so many of them. Well, one, being a Christian school, it's really nice to be able to center everything around Christ. Um, being able to, you know, integrate subjects in Bible. So like Bible's not just, you know, the one hour a day. It gets incorporated with everything. So in, through your science, through your math, through your language. Um, so that's that's really um, a huge benefit. So we're learning those character, character building things. You know, we want to be like Christ. Um, so that's one benefit. Second is the multiple grades. Again, there's, there's room for so much growth. Um, as you progress through. So if you're um, getting to hear what you're gonna be doing in the next couple of years, you know, cause kids, kids are always listening. So they get to overlap or, you know, you can push a student um, beyond. Um, you can also catch students up as well, you know, because it, get, you, it gets catered. It's a, um, more of individual planning um, around our students because of the small, small student size. Um, okay, well, what, are, what are some of the things that you guys do that are special? Like I know you have chickens and sewing and stuff, what are some of the other things? So that, that's my favorite part. Um, bringing le real life um, applications. So currently um, we got to raise chickens. So not only are we just talking about the life cycle of a chicken or birds or animals in general, they get to be a process of that. Um, so they get to watch, watch the growth. Uh, when it comes to bringing in, we're talking about in reading class, we're talking about the 1700s. So now we get to apply some of the things that they did in bringing it in. So the other day we made butter. Uh, they're working on sewing a quilt. They sewed their own, um, outfits for one of our programs. So it's just, they're putting what they're learning in class and putting it into a real life application. So, why are we measuring? What's important? Why are we doing this in math? Now we get to see it and stuff that they get to do, um, which helps, you know, just overall. So they're not, they're becoming full individuals, not just academically smart, but, um, I'm trying to think of the word. I don't know, just growing as human beings. I like to make, have graphics so I can kind of incorporate my love for art into visuals for the kids. So here's the homographs. So, you know, same spelling but different meanings. So they can see the meanings in picture form. You know, kids all learn differently. Mm -hmm. we're, we're worth it. You know, we may be small, but we're strong. And so I think that's, that's important. Um, and important to support. So, you know, so not just financially, but as humans. The community is amazing. <laughs>